Hello, sweetie. Sorry. Hey guys, welcome, and I am the Philadelphia Hoovian, and in truth, this video has nothing to do with River Song. I just felt like doing that. Sorry. Yes. Hello, sweetie. So, hello guys, welcome, or welcome back, and I am again the Philadelphia Hoovian, and this video is going to just be a simple one about an episode that gets a lot of contempt from fans of being the sh crappiest thing of all time, or one of the crappiest things of all time, and that is the episode from Series 5 of New Who, I believe, third episode it is of the season, Victory of the Daleks. Guys, yeah, this episode is so much hated by, by so many fans, or like it appears to be, and it gets on like a lot of just like ha top like hated lists, or like, you know, top 10 like worst lists, you know, I've seen of people on YouTube, etc. and so forth, and I should not be one of those stupid people who thinks the YouTube, you know, pe everyone on YouTube represents the entire, you know, Whovian universe. I should really broaden my horizons with that one, but I've seen enough people not like Victory of the Daleks and put them on like, you know, even like professional lists, saying, you know, top you know, rankings of the last top 50 episodes, etc. and so forth, or ranking of all episodes. Yeah, Victory of the Daleks is hailed as not overall very good. Another episode from Mark Gatchis that is polarizing, where it's the Doctor arriving, you know, further in British history during World War II, where... It turns out that the, the humans under, Winston, you know, Winston Churchill and Great Britain, they're being assisted in this war by the Daleks. And it turns out the Daleks really couldn't help, you know, help, you know, their race, you know, eventually evolve and procreate, or for lack of better terminology, you know, broaden or enhance or, you know, become more numerous and its numbers until somehow it identified the doctor's name because the previous Daleks were not considered pure under what this new race of Daleks would be, the Dalek paradigm. And this episode gets a lot of hate. And I'll be honest, guys, I don't get it. I know, you're going to consider me the strangest person in the world for not hating Victory of the Daleks. I'll be honest, I do not hate Victory of the Daleks. In fact, I overall enjoy watching it. I do. And the main controversy, and the thing that really holds people back from liking this episode, oftentimes, the complaint I hear from many people is the color of the Daleks. That's what makes people hate this episode, the color of the Daleks. And the Daleks are all like, you know, rainbow, Power Ranger colors. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, you know, I'm not that crazy about the new Dalek color myself, but I'll be very honest with you guys. To hate an entire episode because of the color of the Dalek's coating skin. I'm going to call it coating skin. It's really coating. It's, it's really its armor. But I'm going to just drive a point home. Co you know, it's armor coating. It's skin. That's like, and I've said it before in other videos, I feel like you want me to commit Dalek racism. I'm sorry, but that just, it feels like Dalek racism to me. It's like, oh, because of the color of the Dalek's coating, not the actual monster within it, you know, the real creature that's maneuvering this thing. I'm supposed to hate everything about this episode because of the color of the Daleks. No, no. I'm sorry, guys. I I'm not going to do that. I refuse to do that. I'm evil compared to some fans for not doing that, I guess. I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to look at the episode and see if I enjoy it for what it is, and overall, I did enjoy it. Another thing that people attack um, this episode for is Winston Churchill, how the, they make fun of the 11th Doctor for being friends with Winston Churchill. Okay, now Winston Churchill did have, definitely have some bad sides to him. But Winston Churchill still, it doesn't stop the fact that World War II was going on and Winston Churchill was a key, a, a key component to the fight against Hitler. There are things about Winston Churchill I do not like too. 
but at the end of the day, he did, he was there during World War II and he was a key force, a part of it. Okay? To act like Winston, what, what, we, we want to act like Winston Churchill was not there? What? What? Sorry, when I shout, I get thirsty. So, like, you know, I'm sorry, but, because I literally have heard that people, like, oh, the 11th Doctor, uh, not many people, but some people, it's like, oh, he's terrible for being friends with Winston Churchill, and he's terrible for being friends with um, Nixon. No, he's helping the countries that these men oversee. All right? He was helping America and the world in the Impossible Astronaut Day on the Moon. He's helping Great Britain by helping Winston Churchill. It's not just a man. It's the men and the countries that they are overseeing. The doctor can't just stand by and not help Winston Churchill just because he doesn't like parts about Winston Churchill. He's got to help Winston because Winston oversees Great Britain. Drop the mic. Bam. Just saying. But again, the overall, you know, complaint I do hear about Victory of the Daleks is not the actual story itself. It's just more so than anything else, just the color of the Daleks. And honestly, even though they, you know, I'm not a big fan of the color of the Daleks, it didn't break me either. It's like, okay, cool, there you go. You know, dogs are new color. They're coating. They're shells. They're armor is a new color. Not but the creature within, the Dalek, is still the same. That's all that matters to me. That really is. As long as the same creature, I'm fine with it. Also, I feel like our uproar against the new Daleks... The Moffat era has not been very good at producing Dalek episodes, and I'm wondering if maybe it's because of the outroar, the, sorry, the outroar that we, the fans, gave to Victory of the Daleks. This is their first time trying to give you a Dalek story, the Victory of the Daleks when it came to the Moffat era, and we just slammed, slammed Moffat. The Moffat era, because that was written by Mark Gattis, but still, the Moffat era quickly with their first attempt to do something different with the Daleks. And I can't help but wonder if that may be kind of... It left them, you know, the Moffat era a little bit frightened of going too close to the Daleks. So, because think of it, the Daleks, my gosh, we haven't had much good stuff with the Daleks. Or every single time we do have Daleks, there's something else that the story is centered around, and the Daleks just happen to be there. I'm wondering if we scared away the writers after that episode from doing Dalek-oriented stuff. Because Daleks appear every now and again. And I wish we hadn't done that in some ways. Because the, the color of the Daleks' armor, is that really enough to destroy your love for that episode? And if you do have any problems with that episode, I understand if you don't think it's an A-plus episode. But it's not a D episode either to me. It's simply okay. At the worst. It's great. I enjoy it in some places. I actually am very entertained by it. But then I know it's not perfect episode either. But it's not a terrible episode to me. Um, if you can give me reasons why, outside of the Daleks having a different exterior than you guys wanted, cool. Give me a reason down below in the comment section. And if I, objectively speaking, if it seems like that's a good reason why this story is a bad story, then fine. I will give you credit. I will acknowledge that you probably are right in some ways. I acknowledge that. Um, but until that time, I'm not going to fully understand why Victory of the Daleks is such a terrible episode and deserves all the hate that it gets from people. But to be clear, guys, I respect you if you hate that episode. If you hate it, whatever your reasons, hate it all you want to. And curse it with every fiber of your soul. But for me, I just don't get it. I never got it. I'm entertained by it, actually. I was actually very entertained by Victory of the Docks when I first saw it. And to this day, every now and again, I still pop it in into the DVD player and I do watch it. Sorry it doesn't get any hate from me. So guys, that's just my quick video of why I just don't hate Victory of the Daleks. I really don't hate it. Overall, I'm just okay with it. It's not a perfect story, but it's not a terrible one either to me. Daleks are different colors. Now.
Okay. They were trying something new. That's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Even if you disagree with me, you're still awesome. I hope you think I'm awesome too. It, it, guys, I just don't hate this episode. So thank you guys so much. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great week. Peace out.